this is Mike from STEM Captain, and I'm going to show you how to recalibrate your thermometer. A few things you're going to need are a utility knife, the uh, insert portion of your thermometer pulled out of the STEM Captain base, and some kind of glue. The best kind of glue that works works best for this is a cyanoacrylate, um, also known as Crazy Glue. This just is a Loctite brand, and then something like a paper clip um, to apply the glue. So first step, you're going to take your insert and look around the back side of it and you'll see the back plate. Along the perimeter of the black plate, back plate, you'll see a little pry tab. Take the edge of your knife, stick it underneath there and just give it a twist. Careful not to cut yourself and that'll pop the back plate off. Um, you can see on this one the o-ring came out of place. This o-ring is what seals the back plate to the, the main casing. If that happens when you remove the back plate, just go ahead and, and put it back into the o-ring groove that's around the perimeter of that, that back plate. Set the back plate aside. Next thing you want to do is remove the plastic spacer ring. You just lift that out of there. Oop, the whole thing came along with it that time. Usually that doesn't happen. This would stay in place. but. This is what you wanted to get at anyway. This is your main thermometer dial um, with a ther your thermal coil attached to the back side. You're also going to see that the thermal coil, this coiled up piece here, is, is attached to a little uh, plastic aluminum tab. That aluminum tab is glued to this main uh, dial face. So the first thing you're going to need to do to recalibrate is break that seal. Um, that's what that black stuff is there. It's not a really strong adhesive, it doesn't need to be, and to break it, all you're going to need to do is stick the edge of your, your blade under there, give it a little pry, I don't want to bend anything, but just enough to break it. What's that, what that's going to do is give you the ability that you can now rotate that whole thermal coil and set the needle where you, where you need to be. So now that that's free, see, presto, go that way, or that way. Um, one thing to keep in mind when you're doing this is when you're handling it with your hands, you could potentially heat that thermal coil up and not have an accurate reading. So it, once you reset it where you, you want it to be, be sure to set it aside for a little bit and let it equalize to room temperature to make sure you did, did indeed get it right. Once you have it set where you want it, I'm going to go ahead and put this one back into Cal at 60. You want to re-glue that uh, tab. The way you can do that is just take some of your, your super glue and rather than trying to use the applicator I just like to use a, a small uh, piece of wire or something dip it in your, your crazy glue and then just put a little drop in there between the tab and the, and the dial to lock it in place then you pretty much just put it back together pop it back into your main casing. The orientation doesn't matter on this. It will go in anyway. Place your uh, retaining ring back on there. On the retaining ring, you want the long uh, part of the diamond going in the direction of where the tab is. It won't fit otherwise. And then put your, your back plate on. Push down around the perimeter. When you're doing this, um, I recommend not pushing down in the center of the glass because if you're strong enough you could potentially crack that. But uh, once the back plate's on, you're, you're good to go.